So in this mind map example, we're going to have a different approach. For the first time, we're not even going to add sub branches because a lot of times you can use a mind map without adding sub branches. It's sometimes it's enough to have the main idea and the branches for you to be able to develop a good mind map. So we're going to be talking about speeches or presentations. Uh, you have a certain speech or presentation, right? You have four different factors, let's say, that you want to consider. You have the topic. Uh, they gave you different topics that you can choose between. You have the audience. You know that you're talking in front of a specific audience. The space, where are you going to be talking? Um, and the time, right? Now, mind mapping can work according to how you want to work it out. If you, for example, already have a, a preference for a certain topic because you know more about it, uh, first thing you need to ask yourself is this topic, is it good for the audience that I'm, um, that I'm uh, presenting this in front of? There, for example, university students, is it relative for them? Do I have enough time to develop it? And do I have the space for it? If that's good, then you're good to go right away. But if you find that you have a lot of different topics that you're interested in, then you need to you, you need to use sub branches. So let's say in topics, you go and you put all the different topics that you have, right? And then an audience, you have only one type of audience. So you can't do sub branches for audience. You have an audience. Maybe maybe you're not sure what your audience is. It's a mix of people. Uh, you can't do sub branching. It's university students. You can't do sub branching. You can't really choose your audience, right? Um, time, also time, you cannot do any sub branching when it comes to time because they're going to limit you. You're going to say you have, for example, 10 to 15 minutes to finish this speech or presentation. So you cannot do any sub branching and then space. They're going to say, for example, you have a small stage, you have a computer to do, um, you have like a slide to do PowerPoint presentations and that's it. Or you don't even have a place to do PowerPoint presentations. You only have a stage where you need to stand there and talk. So now you know your audience, they're university students interested in software engineers, for example. Example, you know they have 10 to 15 minutes you have a space where you don't have uh, you don't have space for you to put any presentations and you just need to speak yourself and then you have the different topics that you have now which one of these topics would suit the space time and audience best or which one would suit them most uh, in, a, in an effective way then you'll be able to know which topic to choose right um, based on all these different factors is the topic suitable for space, time, and audience, then you're good to go. Now, of course, the step that goes uh, beyond that is, okay, now I know my topic. How am I going to actually develop a speech, develop a presentation? And that's simple, uh, because I don't want to repeat myself. If you just go to... Um, uh, to the part where I, to the video where I showed you how to do the planning, the mind mapping for an essay. It's exactly the same thing for a speech or a presentation. You have your topic, your essay also, you have a topic, and then you're going to think about all the different branches, maybe the positive and negative side of, uh, for example, robotics. You want to talk about it, how it works and all these things. You figure all these things out and you figure the sub branches if it's necessary and you just build the speech upon that. The sub branches are going to be sub ideas. The branches are going to be main ideas. And of course, the topic is going to be your title or your main, what your presentation is about. And as easy as that, you'll be able to, um, to, make, a, to make a speech or a presentation First, choose the topic and afterwards develop the topic into an actual speech. You choose a topic, let's say motivation. Um, you're going to have all the branches, how motivation works, for example, uh, science, uh, how motivation works. There's, for example, the scientific side, the emotional side. And then you have another branch on uh, willpower and how it can affect motivation. And then the third one is, for example, uh, let's say uh, meaning of life and how it can also affect motivation. Now that you have the different branches, you go to the meaning of life. You can say, for example, there was uh, logotherapy that talked about this certain meaning of life. And there's this other stream of, stream of thought that talked about this. You talk about how it's related to motivation. And then you move on and you talk about the different types of motivations. Then you talk about the science behind motivation and then uh, the, the, the emotional side of motivation. And before you know it, you've done the speech. You're done with your presentation. You chose your topic and you developed the topic based on the time space um, uh, frame and, and, and the audience, right? And, and that's it.